Hi, this is the tutorial from the August Silhouette Life Inspiration Box for the Travel Coffee Mug with Pattern Vinyl. So the items that you'll need either from the box or just from your own stash to do this tutorial is a Travel Coffee Mug. Um, you'll need some Oracle or any really kind of transfer tape, but um, we have, I like Oracles and this will be good for the Pattern Vinyl. She got it from Stalls. We like to test out different types of transfer tape. Um, and then you'll need the Oracle or a jet or oracle she got it from stalls pattern adhesive vinyl so this one is kind of nautical themed it says like sail away and bon voyage and all those things so once you have all your materials ready let's switch over to the tutorial from the facebook group and then your design studio to set up the file all right so now we have the tutorial here in our design studio here i'm going to scroll right down to the bottom and get her file but i will also show you what you can do if you don't want to use hers so my computer will download it. All right, well, while that is loading, what you can do if you don't wanna use hers is draw a rectangle um, four inches wide and eight inches tall. So we're gonna go like this. And I'm gonna use the um, this transform menu to do it easily, four inches wide, eight inches tall. And then you can put any design you want that will fit in this. Um, and so you can, she just puts her text in it and shows how she sized hers. Um, but that way you can make your own design if you would like. So I'm going to delete that because I am going to use hers. So I click download and then it will open in my silhouette studio and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to delete this box because we don't want to cut this out. So um, she moved the rectangle off the cutting mat. She needs to check her page settings. So I'm going to fix that. So she does a 12 by 9 sheet. And then I'm going to do no cutting mat because I don't like to cut without a cutting mat. So then you're going to click over to the send panel. And you're going to cut... Um, vinyl glossy and then one five ten and you're gonna do a test cut so I'm gonna move it I also don't like that it is trying to do it like this but I'll show you well let's see if we can fix that actually rotate there we go well no I don't want it like that so let's change it let's say it's 12 by 9 well, let's do it nope and this one. All right, we're just gonna show you with a cutting mat. <laughs> it's uh, 12 by nine. Okay, so because I'm gonna do a cut, a test cut, I'm gonna put it over here, so then it doesn't. I can do a test cut here and then just send it through again. So now you're ready to send this. Um, so hook up your cameo and we'll go ahead and cut it out. Okay, we're ready to cut out the design for the tumbler. So I have it on my cut mat, which is I have it in my settings. So I'm going to load it in and click load cut mat. So I have it at 1, 5, I up to my force to 15, or 14. Um, and now I'm going to click send. So once you cut, cut it out, then weed it, and then I'll show you how to put it on the tumbler. All right, so my design is all weeded. I apologize for the noise in the background. I'm making my husband print me some stuff on his 3D printer for our nursery. <laughs> um, but once you have your design all set, this was really hard for me to weed. The letters just picked up really easily, so I feel like it got kind of not lined up the way I would have liked it. I don't know if I should have done maybe more force or overcuts or something like that, um, but I didn't love weeding this vinyl. Um, but we're going to take our transfer tape and I'm just going to cut out, well it looks like I just have to do about, I'm going to cut around this so I can just use less transfer tape. And then I'm going to cut some transfer tape. Alright, so... Then we're going to apply the transfer tape. So I'm going to peel it up. And I'm going to line it up the best I can. Okay. 
And then you're just going to want to rub it really good to get it to adhere to this vinyl. And then we're going to get our tumbler. And i got to figure out which way I want this to be. I think I want it, let's see, so you're drinking from this side, so I think I want it over here. So I'm going to hold it like this. I like to do it in between my legs, so you put it on your lap, but you can't see it if I do it like that. So bear with me as we try to design this, or put this on the way it's going to go. Um, but then you'll just peel up. It looks like it's peeling really good. We're going to line it up how we want. So it's a pretty big design, but I'm going to use this lip at the top to kind of help me decide where it's going to go. So I'm going to put my all, I mean, to, oh, there we go. I got it to kind of stay like that. So we're going to line up sideways. Oh, crap. I pressed down. So I let her stuck. So I'm kind of stuck with right here. But you know what? It says all aboard the Hot Mess Express. That may be the most accurate for how I feel about this specific project. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub little by little to get these letters all to stick where they go. Try not to create any bubbles. And then I'm gonna peel it off. Oh, as I peel off an entire E. Okay, so then you can reuse this if you want. So I just put it back on my sheet. Let me show you what it looks like done. So now you have it all aboard the Hot Mess Express. Mine's lopsided and a little bit sketchy with where it's lined up, but there's reason that we're on the Hot Mess Express. So <laughs> let me know if you have any questions. The link is down below um, to the Facebook page and to our website. So if you have any questions, you can post there or comment on this video. But thank you so much for watching.